The Map by Ruba Kiwar Chapter 6 The Dangers of Christian Evangelism Creative Access Platform One of the issues presented in the Evangelical Conference was if it's ethical for Christians to find a way to stay in the country as a missionary secretly and if he can lie if he was asked about his work. The Lausanne Conference in 1974 said that it is ethical as long as it protects the life of the missionary and does not deport him back to his country until he finishes his work. We should actually blame the Muslim countries for that because they allowed for them to lie about their agendas. We know that they are going to enter the country even if there are strict laws against evangelism. I suggest opening the doors for them to do evangelism, but in public, not in secret. If the missionary was caught while evangelizing, then he should face the penalties. The missionary should rent a hall and call people to their religion in public without fear. This way it will expose their beliefs and doctrine and Muslims who have good knowledge should be able to respond to them in public as well this policy can be applied in the Middle East such as Lebanon Egypt Palestine Iraq and Syria because they have large numbers of indigenous Christians who are not supposed to be forbidden from evangelizing other people as long as they do it in public However, it may not work in other countries such as those in the Gulf regions because they don't have any Christians. Forbidding the Christians from evangelism will not stop their work. Many youth will look at these Christians with eyes seeking sympathy because they will feel they are oppressed. They may be sympathetic to them and convert to their religion to show their support for them. Creative Access Platform is a sneaky and malicious method that Christian charity organizations deal with people. They open up classes for ESL, health centers, etc., pretending to help people, but at the same time they pass the Bible underneath the table to them. Christian missionaries take every opportunity to evangelize. For example, it is forbidden for the Christian missionaries to enter North Korea. If one is found there, he would be killed. Therefore, the Christian prepare for any opportunity to evangelize South Korea first. They have reached the point of 90% evangelism in South Korea. They have already trained church planters, missionaries, and teachers. Once the door opens in North Korea, many South Korean missionaries will be heading north for evangelism. The only thing holding them back is the matter of the perfect time. Saudi Arabia is considered second in severe persecution against evangelism. Christians should not be spending so much money on attempting to evangelize Saudi Arabia, according to the receptivity principle. They don't care and they break the rules anyway. Even though they can't reach Mecca and Medina, they can still reach the northern, eastern, and southern regions, as well as Jeddah. They are centered in the foreign compounds and apartment complexes where there is not a watchful eye of the government upon them. For the native Saudis, evangelism may be not be directly to them, but it is done by using social media and Christian TV stations. Evangelism has reached 2.5% percent among the Saudis. You may not see it as a big deal, but it is considered a big achievement among the Christian agencies and a positive boost for them to continue. In the other Arab countries, we find that the indigenous Arab Christians are already practicing in public evangelism. Christian brochures are distributed calling for peace between the Muslims and Christians. They contain verses from the Quran and the Bible. One day in 2013, I was at a book fair in Egypt, and while passing by one of the Christian tents, there were some young guys distributing some tracts like the Four Spiritual Principles, 
how can you gain eternal life? And oh my Muslim brother, sister, I want to tell you that I love you. To tell you honestly, the missionaries are also victims of Christian agencies. Because once they finish their work and go back, then their work is done and they may not be appreciated. When they have a burnout, they may be asked to go back to their country and they will be replaced with other missionaries.